All right, guys. So I know I haven't made a video in a long time. Just I haven't had money or um or time to work on this car. But um, as you can see, I'm gonna show you something in the back. I've got a bunch of parts for this car, so new videos will be coming, hopefully weekly. Today, what I'm gonna do is uh. As you guys know, my front struts are blown. The car bounces like a boat. And here I have some used ones, but they were in great working condition. There's still the ECS struts, which are the electronic ones. And I also have a uh, new, let me show you here. A new computer, well not new, but like I said, used that works. I already opened it up, everything looks good. So now I can have nice, handling on the car and all that stuff and there's some other few and upgrades and stuff that are going to be on the way as well all right guys so i'm going to be changing out these uh old ecs struts so obviously the first thing you do is put the vehicle on jack stands take your wheel off i turn the wheel to the left so i can get easier access to the caliper bracket bolts which is two i have to take this off do it take the rotor off i'm also going to replace this side driver CV axle. Then after that, I have to take this bolt off for the ABS sensor. Then this bracket is held on by a bolt for the brake line. Took off the caliper. It's just those two bolts right there, which goes right here and right there. Now for this brake line uh, bracket, the 12 millimeter. that now you can move your brake caliper it'll be easier set it to the side so it doesn't hang on the brake line all right next as you can see i put the wheel underneath the vehicle with the rotor and the brake caliper on the top that way there's no tension on the brake line now it's the abs oh, sensor wire bracket just a nut 12 millimeter the washer off. There you go. Now you don't have to take uh, unbolt it from the car. You just gotta be careful when you're removing the strut that you're not putting, you know, all the strain on this or not tugging on this. Now just these two bolts and then these three. All right, it's gonna take a 17. I love this little impact. And it's also on the last bars of life and took it off. Now the same thing for this bottom bolt that goes right there. All right, now that we have those two bolts out, we just have to take these top three off. Make sure you disconnect the top. And then I think we might just wiggle it out. Here's the old one. This was kind of like stuck on the top just with corrosion. I just moved it around and then squeezed it like that to get it through the hole. All right, so I got the cotter pin out, which is right here. And you always want to put a new one. I want to reuse the old one. Now I'll take the nut off. It would've been easier if I had the wheel on the ground and then broke it loose. I'm gonna take a 32 and I put these lug nuts back on the studs. I'm gonna hold it with a bar Like this as I'm trying to loosen it to keep I'm using this uh, I'm using this long pry bar to hold it so I'll be trying to spinning it counterclockwise and I'm gonna hold it this way so let's see how that goes all right so I put the pry bar end on the wheel and I broke it loose that way as you can see put the big casting nut and the washer. Alright, 
here it comes out. Now this is why you guys need to get one of these cordless ratchets. I got in there with my lock and flex head, broke the bolt loose, and I'm able to get in here with my cordless ratchet. I don't know if you can see, but right there. one on top as well all right guys so after some wiggling around i got the top bolt off and i saw that was the first one that i used my milwaukee ratchet on you can see the boots ripped right here so all the grease just comes out of there the used one i got has a little rip but i put some rtv on there or some gasket maker whatever you call it but as you can see i'm gonna have to put another layer of it right on top of this crack just to prevent it from opening it, opening it up and have more grease shoot out. The old one, the new one is good, so. All right, buddy, so after you put everything back together, you put the wheel down, you torque the axle nut to factory specs. And then, yeah, so now we're done with this side, we're gonna do the other side, and then after we do that, we can quickly connect the new, well, used, but working ECS computer to the plug and then see if our suspension works properly. All right guys, so it'll be the same procedure on the passenger side to replace the strut. So I'm gonna do that right now. This is just a clip of me driving after I replaced the struts and I just wanna say this car drives like super nice. Yeah, it's all that was, all that noise of that like clunking and banging around, that sound like the car didn't fall apart. That was all due to the, um, the front struts being bad. 